Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Curse of Oak Island, Marty Laginet declares we could be inches away from a massive discovery. The Curse of Oak Island Season 10 is approaching the end, and the team seems tantalizingly close. Marty Laginet declared they could be inches away from a major discovery at the bottom of the garden shaft in the Mai Pit area. The main focus of this season has been the rehabilitation of the old garden shaft. This shaft was previously thought to be 19th century construction, but after Carbon 14 dating the wood and finding traces of precious metals buried underneath, the guys began to suspect it was much older and could actually be the location of the treasure. With this in mind, the guys got in mining outfit Dumasult to reconstruct the 80-foot deep shaft to see what was going down there. After numerous hiccups, the miners have finally gotten to the bottom and have started exploratory probing for offset hidden chambers. Rick Lagina admitted on last night's episode that they had all been struggling with the disappointment that, so far, the shaft had not revealed any hidden treasures. This was despite the wooden walls of the shaft testing positive for high amounts of precious metals. However, last night, there were beaming smiles and high fives all around when the Dumas guys announced that they thought they'd hit a tunnel at 91 feet. The Fellowship had previously hit a tunnel at 95 feet while borehole digging in the baby blob, and they suspected that tunnel was heading towards the garden shaft. The guys now hope that this is the same tunnel, meaning they can follow to the treasure in the baby blob. The Oak Island team thinks they are close to a breakthrough at the garden shaft. At this time of the season, it's always a race against time and the weather to get things done before the guys have to stop all work as the Nova Scotian winter hits. But here was some hope they might make a breakthrough with only one episode left. First, the team had to confirm it was a tunnel, so they popped some tubing into the drill hole and dropped a camera down. They couldn't see much apart from clay, but there was a piece of wood. Wood often equals a tunnel, so Marty ordered Dumas to keep drilling. There is also the possibility that they may have found not a tunnel, but a vault. This scenario would definitely be preferable. Of course, this is Oak Island, so nothing's easy. The 4-inch drill was hitting up against something hard and wasn't making any progress. About 2 inches deep was as far as it would budge. However, on the top of the drill head, there was more wood, enough for C-14 dating. The tension was palpable as the guys stood waiting for the drill to get through to something important, but agonizingly it just wasn't penetrating. The Curse of Oak Island Season 10 Episode 24 saw high levels of tension. Why do we get this close and we don't have any time left? Lamented Marty. Meanwhile, the rest of the guys, Rick, Charles Barkhouse, Billy Gerhardt, Alex Legina, and Peter Fornetti, who had gathered in the tent, all looked super tense. The guys started debating if they should dig a new hole, but project manager Scott Barlow argued they just didn't have the time. Marty agreed, so instead, they decided to replace the 4-inch drill bit with a 6-inch and keep their fingers crossed that it could penetrate the wood. And viewers will learn next week if that was successful. This was an episode where not a lot actually happened, but it sure was incredibly tense. Next week is expected to be the season final, so let's hope they can end season 10 with a bang. The Curse of Oak Island has captured the imaginations of treasure hunters and history enthusiasts for decades. It's alvear rooted in the mysteries that have evaded countless explorers. This enigmatic island, shrouded in legend and conjecture, has a way of pulling people in, making them believe that they could be the ones to finally uncover its secrets. Marty Lagina, one of the most determined and passionate of these treasure hunters, recently made an electrifying declaration. We could be inches away from a massive discovery. Marty's words echoed through the air, infused with a mix of excitement, anticipation, and the weight of history. He and his brother Rick Lagina, along with their dedicated team, have spent years meticulously excavating, studying, and theorizing about the island's buried treasures. 
Their journey has been chronicled in the popular television series, The Curse of Oak Island, where viewers have followed their every triumph and setback. Each season has brought them closer to the truth, or so it seems, with tantalizing clues that suggest something monumental lies beneath the surface. The Lagina Brothers' quest began with a shared childhood dream, ignited by a 1965 issue of Reader's Digest that featured an article on Oak Island's mysteries. The article spoke of buried treasure, of booby trap shafts, and of a curse that has claimed the lives of six treasure seekers, with a prophecy that seven must die before the treasure is found. The island, located off the coast of Nova Scotia, Canada, has been the site of numerous expeditions since the late 18th century, all drawn by tales of pirate gold, religious artifacts, and otherworldly riches. As Marty Lagina stood at the edge of the latest excavation site, his eyes gleaming with a fervor that only years of relentless pursuit could foster, he knew they were close. The team had recently uncovered a series of underground tunnels that seemed to confirm one of the many theories about the island, that it was a massive, elaborate construction, designed to safeguard something of immense value. The tunnels, lined with ancient timbers and packed with sediment, pointed to human ingenuity and determination. Whoever built them had a purpose, and it was up to the Laginas to decipher it. Marty's declaration wasn't just a statement of hope, it was a challenge to his team and to himself. The work was grueling, often frustrating, but always filled with the promise of discovery. Every shovel full of earth, every sonar scan, and every analysis of artifacts brought them a step closer. They had found old coins, bones, and peculiar objects whose origins were still under debate. Each find was a piece of the puzzle, hinting at a larger narrative that spanned centuries and continents. The excitement on the island was palpable, the team, a mix of seasoned archaeologists, engineers, and historians, worked tirelessly, driven by the same vision that fueled Marty. Theories abounded. Some believed the treasure to be the lost jewels of Marie Antoinette. Others suggested it was pirate loot from the infamous Captain Kidd, while more recent conjectures hinted at connections to the Knights Templar or even the Holy Grail. Each theory was tantalizing in its own right, adding layers of intrigue to their search. Rick Lagina, the quieter and more contemplative of the brothers, often pondered the island's deeper mysteries. To him, the search was about more than just treasure. It was about uncovering history, understanding the motivations and lives of those who came before. He was fascinated by the human element, by the stories that the artifacts told. Every piece they found, every structure they uncovered, spoke of people who had invested their lives in this island, just as he and his brother were doing now. As Marty's declaration hung in the air, the team gathered around the excavation site, a sense of unity and purpose binding them together. They knew that every inch they dug could bring them closer to a breakthrough. The site they were working on, dubbed the Money Pit, was the most famous of Oak Island's numerous mystery-laden locations. It was here that the first treasure hunters in 1795 had discovered a pit with layers of wooden platforms, suggesting something was buried deep below. Despite numerous efforts, no one had yet reached the bottom, or if they had, they hadn't lived to tell the tale. The Lagina's approach was methodical. They employed the latest technology, from ground-penetrating radar to advanced drilling rakes, yet they also respected the island's history, working to preserve as much as they uncovered. The delicate balance between excavation and conservation was a constant challenge, one that they navigated with care. Marty's belief that they were inches away from a massive discovery was grounded in recent finds. They had unearthed a series of large stone markers that appeared to form a trail, leading to what they hoped would be the ultimate prize.